Hey guys and welcome back to the only channel bringing you BMAT tips and tricks to make it through the schoolhouse. Today you crushed day 6 and series parallel circuits. In class we took a series circuit and a parallel circuit and smashed them together. Today we're going to take a look at how to calculate the values for a series parallel circuit. Let's get after it, shall we? A series parallel circuit is a combination of a series and a parallel circuit. R1 and R4 make up the series portion shown here in blue. IT flows through each series component. The voltage drops are proportional to the individual resistance value. Now to look at the parallel portion of the circuit. R2 and R3 make up the parallel portion shown in red. IT will be divided proportionally with the individual branch resistances. RE is going to be smaller than the smallest individual branch resistance and this value can only be found when each branch contains only one resistive value. Branch voltage drops will be equal. We'll take a deeper look at that in a minute. Series parallel circuits can be redrawn and simplified to a simple series circuit. This helps us in our calculations. As you can see here, once we simplify the parallel portion of the circuit, R2 and R3 become RE, or resistive equivalent. To calculate values in the series parallel circuit, we must first start with calculating our RE. For this, you should utilize the reciprocal method for calculating RE that you learned on day 5. To punch our example problem into the calculator, it would look like 6k x minus 1 plus 3k x minus 1 equals x minus 1 equals. This gives you 2k for a RE value. You can only utilize the product over sum method when you have two branches. For more than two branches, the fastest method is to utilize the reciprocal formula. The next step is going to be finding RT. In order to find RT, we have to add our series resistors to the RE value. This gives us 15K for RT. We can utilize Ohm's law to find total current. Applied voltage divided by RT, or 60 volts divided by 15K, gives us a total current of 4 milliamps. Now, to find the voltage drops of the resistors. Since all the current flows through the series portion of the circuit, we can solve R1 and R4 like a normal series circuit. For R1, take the resistor value of 5K times 4 milliamps, and that gives you 20 volts. The same goes for R4. 8K times 4MA gives you 32 volts. Now for the part that you cannot forget, Rexit, or RE times IT. 4MA times 2K gives us 8 volts, which will be seen on both branches of the parallel half of the circuit. If we wanted to solve for current in either branch 1 or branch 2, we would just utilize Ohm's law. T chart it up and divide away. Now to calculate values for a series parallel circuit with multiple resistors in each branch. First, we need to combine the resistors in each branch. Starting with branch 1, add R2 and R3 to get 12k, then branch 2 adding R4 and R5 to get 6k. We can then punch the resistance of branch 1 and the resistance of branch 2 into the reciprocal formula. This gives us 4k for our RE value. The next step is to find the RT of the circuit. R1, which is 6K, plus the RE of 4K will give us an RT of 10K. Now we can find IT. Using Ohm's law, 60 volts divided by 10K gives a total current of 6MA. The next step is to find the voltage drop of R1. 6MA times 6K of resistance gives us a voltage drop of 36 volts. The next step is going to be Rexit. The RE of 4K times IT of 6MA gives a voltage drop felt across the parallel branches of 24 volts. Now to use Ohm's law to calculate each individual branch current. The branch voltage divided by branch resistance will give the branch current. Use this branch current multiplied by the individual resistances in each branch to get their respective voltage drops. Now that we can calculate values, let us take a little peek at some troubleshooting for series parallel circuits. An open in the series portion of the circuit causes RT to increase to infinite. Current will drop to zero, and the voltage measurement across the open component will measure applied voltage. If the open is in the parallel portion of the circuit, RE is going to increase, and because RE increases, RT will also increase. IT is going to decrease, series voltage drops will decrease, and parallel voltages increase. Now to move on to shorts, and not the kind you wear to the beach. A short in the series portion of the circuit, RE, will stay the same. RT will decrease and IT will increase. The series voltage drop will decrease and the parallel voltage drops will increase. 
A short in the parallel portion of the circuit is going to kill the parallel portion, which will bring the RE to zero and RT will decrease. Because RT decreases, IT will increase. Series voltage drops will increase and the parallel branch voltage will drop to zero volts. All right, guys, we went through calculating the values for a series parallel circuit, and then we moved on to a little troubleshooting. As always, stay classy and keep your head up.